So. Um, tonight, uh, I'm going to stream and work on um, a little uh, Java server, TCP server for now. Um, and we're going to use the non-blocking I.O. APIs. I haven't used these uh, in quite a while. Um, I used them on a project for work a couple years back. Uh, I found them pretty interesting, fascinating. And so um, this is going to be a little bit of an exercise in um, refreshing my memory, uh, figuring out and remembering how uh, this all actually works, um, and hopefully giving um, a little bit of a tutorial, if you will, for people who haven't uh, haven't ever used this before, um, and hopefully we can uh, get uh, get a working server tonight. Maybe that just uh, like echoes the responses or the echoes the requests that it gets uh, back to the user. So I'm um, not not trying to get too crazy. Uh, we'll see if we even get there. So. Um, Let's go ahead and do this. Um, all right, so um, this is the, I guess, documentation for NIO. So there's a couple things to know about this, I guess. So um, the idea behind NIO is, is that you can do IO, whether it be over files or sockets, uh, all sorts of different things, um, and you only need a single thread to actually handle multiple types of connections or, or IO sources, right? So typically uh, in, in Java, um, uh, for example, HTTP servers, every uh, request that comes in is handled by a new thread. Um, and so there's some kind of inherent simplicity in that, which is great, but there's also a lot of inefficiency. So um, I think it was Java 6 that introduced NIO. Um, but, uh, they basically introduced, uh, one four actually, wow. Um, they basically introduced this, this NIO package so that you can, um, kind of essentially do multiplexing of, uh, of IO. So, uh, so for example, if you've ever used, uh, Netty or anything like that, um, you, or Node.js, uh, you know, you're using uh, kind of non-blocking IO packages uh, under the hood, um, and which allows you to, um, you know, have one single thread that handles uh, tons of different requests, connections, file IO, whatever that might be. So, um, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a server socket, a standard server socket in Java, and then we're actually gonna set that to be uh, non-blocking. Um, and then after that, we're gonna use these things called selectors and selection keys um, to kind of handle um, incoming and inbound requests. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So um, again, I'm just gonna focus on the server for now. Um, and we'll probably just like send it a message via curl from the command line or something like that. So um we're gonna start off with uh with a basic server here um we'll probably take in an actual port um here um and what else we're gonna need um we will probably need a server uh no we're gonna need a uh, socket channel um and we're basically gonna want a server socket channel um we'll probably have an init block because we'll need to uh need to initialize this uh we're gonna have a selector uh, so this is the actual thing that we're going to be working on. Uh, it's the kind of mechanism that we use to like kind of wake up and say, hey, is there any data to read? Is there any data to write? Uh, are there any connections that we should be uh, be accepting or, or, or things like that, right? So uh, this is going to be a selector. Uh, it's a channel. 
Uh, and then we need to uh, need to initialize at least these two things. So uh, this is going to be uh, so we're going to have a socket channel type equals uh, server socket channel dot open. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, we need to do something. We need to open this up or get the socket for it, right? So socket, we need to bind it to the actual port that came in. Um, and in this case, uh, we can basically just do a uh, new I, or no, not new, because we're in Colin, uh, I not socket. Uh, inet socket address. Um, and this takes a port, I think. Yeah, that takes a port, right? So this is basically just like, hey, I want uh, an address. Uh, yeah, uh, I want an address like on localhost. Um, uh, and then we can um, set that thing. Um, we need to configure this to be non-blocking, right? So we need to say configure blocking false. Um, and let's get rid of this. Uh, no, we, no, we can do that. So um, then we can basically say selector and then we can say socket channel dot open. Is it open or what is this? Uh, da, 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 da. Channels. Server socket channel. Uh, selector. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, oh, 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 no, no, no. We just need to basically say selector.open. Um, so this is giving us a selector. Um, on that thing, but how is that? How is that connected? So we need to connect these two things together, and I don't remember how to do that. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, what methods are on here? Let's actually let's take a look at this. Let's do socket channel dot. What do we got on here? Um, ah, here we go. Yeah, yeah, register, right? So uh, basically we need to register um, and pass this an int. So let's look at this register method. Yeah. Register. Um, okay, yeah. So we pass it, we're gonna pass it our selector. Um, and then when we do this, we have to pass it what's called a selection key. And so this selection key, um, we can take a look at this. So basically this, this thing, um, it represents basically the different like states a channel could be in or that like a channel is like interested and listening in so like there's a bunch of events there's uh you know you can you uh let's let's actually uh, uh what is it there's it's basically selection key dot yeah and so then so yeah so these are the four things like four states that, that a socket can be in right so or not a socket but a, a, a selector right so you know you're first going to get an inbound request that says hey i want to 
uh, you know, this, this channel is in an accept state. Um, and at that point you need to accept it and then mark it and say, okay, I'm, I want to, uh, read from it or write to it or, or whatever that, that thing may be in is, uh, may be in, right? So, so really, um, so we're interested in, in, in that, uh, want to accept, um, so basically saying, you know, hey, this channel is ready for a socket accept, meaning like we can accept this, right? And and if you were to write a client um, uh, on kind of the initial creation, you would say, hey, I want to connect, right? Um, and then basically all, all that really happens is that when you loop and you're reading all of these sockets, you're basically just flipping back and forth between read and write, right? So um, you say, Hey, I'm interested in writing. And then you write something and then, and then push that down the pipe. Um, you know, or when you say, when your when your thread wakes up, um, you look at the keys and if there's one that says read, that means that there's data, data for you to be able to read. Right. So, um, so that's kind of our, that's our, that's our basic server. Um, obviously it doesn't actually start up or do anything. Right. And so really what we need is, um, uh, a thread that this, this server can kind of run on, um, and, uh, and kind of accept connections. So let's go ahead and do that. Right. So this is going to, um, this is going to implement, uh, runnable and, um, basically we need a run method, right. Uh, and so this is where um, all the fun stuff's gonna be. So in here, we're basically going to loop, um, you know, while we are not interrupted um, and our socket is open. Um, and uh, effectively, there's no real way to do this other than to um, uh, just basically like catch IO exception, right? So we're gonna say try, we're going to catch, um, uh, uh, and this is Colin. So we're going to do this, right? Um, and then we can, um, you know, print out um, closing down socket. So, um, okay, so, so what are we doing in this loop, right? And we can clean these up, we can clean that up. Oh no, because we need a handle to that, yeah, okay. Um, okay, so what's next? So, so again, right now in here, we basically need to take care of this, right? So we need to loop. And um, basically when you do this, um, you basically ask the selector for uh, the keys or the channels, if you will, on that selector or on that, that our server socket that are actually like ready for uh, ready for giving you data or wanting to connect or or really anything like that, right? So um, uh, we need to go ahead and head and do that, right? So um, we're going to do while the selector um, uh, oh well, really while the socket channel. Uh, that is open, right? Um, and we can um, socket closing gracefully, right? Because here we know uh, it's shut down. Um, okay, so basically, when we're in here while it's open, uh, we need to do a few things, right? So Again, on the selector, we call this method uh, select, and you can say select, which is essentially a, a blocking call forever. So it'll basically say, 
block until we actually have something that's ready, or we can have a, a selector where you give it an actual timeout. Um, and uh, so this is the selectable channel server sockets. Dun, 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 multiplex via a selector. Yeah, so let's look for the select method, right? So basically, yeah, so select a set of keys whose corresponding channels are ready for IO. Uh, or you can say select a set of keys whose corresponding channels are ready for IO and give it a timeout. And basically, if it hits the timeout, it'll go through. And then since we're in the while loop, uh, um, we can do so. So let's just do this and just see um, if our if our loop is working, right? So, um, uh, um, selected keys may have been found looping, right? Um, so basically what's gonna happen is, is this is gonna come in, we're gonna start this thing and it's basically gonna block every second and then print this thing out. Um, obviously we're not doing anything with any of the things that might be ready. We're just printing out here. So, so basically this should print out um, every second indefinitely until we, till we, uh, until we shut this thing down, right? So um, let's go ahead and give this a spin. Um, all right, so this, um, we need to give it a port and the system port is, or the way to basically just get a random port. Uh, I'm gonna forget uh, Java random port. Uh, yeah, server socket zero, that's what it is. Um, server socket zero oops dot server socket I want to import that uh, local port right so basically we're just if you, if you do this it starts up on a, an unavailable port and then we can pass it over right so um, and then we can just do server dot uh, run is it run Uh, no, 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 because it's a runnable, right? So we basically need to do thread uh, server dot, and then we can call start on this, um, and that will effectively block, I believe, if I remember correctly, it's been a long time. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. Address already in use. That's not, that is not what we're looking for. Uh, what? This should definitely work. That will listen on any free port. Okay. Maybe inet socket address takes care of that for me. Uh, yeah, I don't even think we need this. I'm gonna guess we don't. This binds to a socket address. Yeah, what if I just do this? Um, socket address. Uh, da, da, da.
Yeah, so I think if I give it this port zero, let's just put, yeah, pick the port, yep, and bind it. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, that's not good. Come back. Um, all right, so. Uh, um, okay, so let's go ahead and bind this again. Yep. All right, there we go. Right. So basically, this is looping once every second, um, you know, looking for keys. Uh, if we bump this up uh, and actually single instance so that when we rerun it, it stops it. Uh, yep, stop and rerun. Um, this should then slow down, right? So now this should be every five seconds just to show that it's working. Yeah, right. So every five seconds, basically we're looping and because we're giving it a timeout, um, it's it's actually going through um, and allowing things allowing things to happen, right? So uh, so that's that's working. Okay. So now we need to actually look at the keys that are as basically on this selector right um, uh, and basically what we're looking for is the selected keys method right um, and so basically you we call this um, after this thing has fallen through and basically this is this is the uh selector selected key set right so um uh, actually is that what we want or do we just want keys let's see During each selection operation, keys may be added to and removed from a selector. Selected key set may be removed from. Selection is performed by select, select long, and select now. Uh, what do we want? I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, I'm pretty sure this is selected keys. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, and basically we're gonna wanna iterate on this. Um, so basically for each uh, key, I don't really like using it if I can avoid it. Um, and basically, um, so for each of these, right, we, we need to like check which state it's in and, and do something, right? So, so there could be a whole, there's a couple different states, right? So, uh, we can't use match in this situation. Um, so basically you can say like, if key dot, um, is acceptable, right? That way we know this, um, channel is asking for acceptance, right? So basically in here, we need to do, you know, we need to make like some accept method, right? So let's just go ahead and do that. Um, it, accept. Um, and this is what again? Selectable channel, right? Um, selection key, right? Uh, selection key. Um, and this doesn't return anything. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Oops. Oh. Um, expecting to be in Java land, fun, except, right? Okay. Now, um, 
what do we do when this is accepted, right? So when something's ready to be accepted, we um, we basically need to, to accept it. We need to um, register it um, and basically put it in a read state, right? And, and, and if we want to, we can accept it, uh, write to it, and then read. But, but effectively, right, is we need it. We need an actual socket um, that we can that we can read off of, right? So, um, and and not a server socket, but an actual socket, right? So val um, uh, socket is going to be uh, um, key selection key the channel. Uh, open, right? Or, um, uh, what is this thing? This is a this is a server socket, right? So server socket. Um. Just gonna do this because I don't remember what this is. I think this is a server socket, um, but I don't quite remember what this is. So, uh, all right, we're gonna debug this because I don't remember what this is. Um, all right, so, oh, you know what's going to be a good idea is we need to print out the port that we're listening on. Otherwise, I have no idea what we're doing. Um, so in here, uh, server socket listening on. Uh, socket channel dot. Uh, can I get the port stuff off of here? Um, oh, dot socket, right? Server socket channel uh, dot socket dot port, yeah server socket listening on that. Okay, so now if we run this, we should see a port. And if we do, then we can, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right, so we're listening, um, and now we could use a terminal. So uh, if we just do, uh, curl, oops, curl, uh, local host, uh, three, four, five, five, seven. Yep. All right. All right. Okay. So basically we curled it. Um, and that is a server socket channel impulse, right? Okay. So basically, this thing we know is, um, so that's a server socket channel, right? So we can cast that. Um, and it's really the client socket. Um, uh, no, I take that back. That's so basically this is saying, uh, this is really, again, the server socket that we have, right? Um, and so from here, um, what do we need to do? Uh, 
again, we need to configure blocking to false. We need to um, um, and so so here's where we have to basically tell that socket that we're interested in reading it from it next, right? So we need to basically um, register again the the register that thing with our selector and say we're interested in um, uh, reading from it, right? So, um, so basically we're registering on our selector, right? So we're telling it like, hey, this thing that we have, this person that's trying to talk to us, we're interested in the events on it. So um, tell our selector when there's events. Um, and we want selection key uh, read. Um, and that's probably not enough. Um, I gotta fix my sources. We can do that at some point. Um, let's look at the server socket channel. Um, server socket channel register I think that's it um, yeah so there there is another thing you can put on here so uh, this is basically like, um, so you basically you can attach an object and um, it, it's kind of like you can use this as metadata. So some people um, put like the, the host information and the port information. Um, some people attach the, the actual like object. Like if I remember correctly, if I attached, um, my previous projects, you can attach like the thing that's that's reading off of that, right? This is basically like how you can identify the clients, right? Because if you look up here, you know, again, right? Every time this thing wakes up, it's it's just saying, "Hey, I have something for you, and you need to you you can you can take care of it." Um, but but again, from the selected keys on this key, you have no idea who that is, right? And and this object is a way for you to actually say like, "Okay." I'm attaching this 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 attribute or this data, right? Yes, yeah, so the attachment for the resulting key. Um, and so again, if up here you can do I think key dot attachment, yeah. And so basically, if we if we attach anything on there, it'll it'll be there, right? So um, we're not going to do that for now. We might do that later, but um, at the moment we're just going to do this, right? So um, okay, so now it's in a read state. And so basically what we should see, or again, right? So we're saying, hey, we want to read. And so then um, we're probably going to need to say is readable, right? And um, we can just test this out really quickly and say, we got a key that is readable. Um, and that should do it, right? So. Um, let's give that a whirl, right? Um, and okay, so we're gonna curl, uh, that, oh, interesting, a legal argument exception, server socket, Register, selector, selection key, op, read. Um, okay. If a bit in the op set does not correspond to an operation that is supported by this channel, that is if set valid ops does not equal zero. So why would read not be supported 
by that channel. Mm, that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, that doesn't make sense at all. Uh, why is that? Oh, it's, um, we never actually, uh, yeah, we never actually, um, accepted this. Okay. And yeah, this is me being stupid. So this really should be named. This is, yeah, this is bad. This really should be named client socket, right? So we need to get it, treat it as a server socket channel accept it, right, um, configure it as blocking, and then we should be able to register as this, right? So let's let's try that. Um, all right, so again, so we're on 42141. Uh, no, legal argument exception. wrong this is still wrong this is server socket and this is uh, the client socket right uh, except yeah this is giving back a socket channel yeah so this is the client socket right okay Uh, all right, so uh, cool. We got a key that is readable. There was a null pointer exception, so we'll have to fix that. Um, Um, oh, you know what? Um, uh, I think this can be null. Uh, yeah, this can be null if the selected keys or the, 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 yeah. Let's make sure this is okay. Okay, so four, five, two, two, one. All right, nope. Got a key that's readable. Okay, that's interesting. Let's run this. Let's debug this. Three, six, four, five, five. Okay, the key is there, it's readable. And then, um, is the channel null? No, what's, what's it complaining about? Client socket is null. Uh, that's interesting. Why would that be? Uh, oh, 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 okay. Uh, this is an iterator. This is an iterator. So, um, uh, I don't know if we can do this. Well, 
like this. Um, uh, I don't know if this is gonna fly, but I'm gonna try it. Uh, is it remove? Yeah, I think it's remove. Uh, the computer really I guess I'm gonna have to do that uh, all right so this should work because it's iterating over these things and I'm not rem like removing the key after I've done it so it's literally just like spinning and spinning and spinning right so um, four one eight one three yeah there we go it's basically like, because we're not reading anything off of it, then it's just stuck, right? So, okay. Um, hmm. All right, so that works. Um, let's actually make this, um, let's make this something like, that um, I don't know just something so that it doesn't change every single time we start up because a lot of range what's the max range for a port um, I don't even remember um, Is it like 10,000 or something like that? So let's see 10,001. I think it's 10,000. Oh, yeah, that would be that would be a problem. Address already in use. can't be yeah there we go okay all right and then if we stop this and start it back up we should be fine okay all right so now this isn't gonna change on us every time right but but again so now we have this socket we accepted it right and there's no there's no uh, or there's no data coming in right and it's looping we get a connection and then it basically loops and it says, hey, we always have something that's readable, right? And we're not reading any of the data off of it and we're not writing anything back. So um, it's it's effectively just looping, right? Um, so we can, um, we can get rid of this. Uh, This looks pretty good. Um, uh, what is the thing? Dun, 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 runnable. I don't remember how to use thread. It's been forever. Uh, thread. There's a way to basically like check. Is it interrupted? Right. Yeah. 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 Static boolean. Yeah. So uh, we can do thread dot it interrupted. And so basically, this will tell us if it's interrupted um, and basically bail out of this loop. So then it'll close gracefully. Um, and we can close this. We could also do a try with resources, which would actually be better. But for now, this is fine, right? So now 
if we start this, uh, what? And oh, the thread is not interrupted. Um, so now, if we basically send stop, it should. Uh, what? Does that not? Oh, 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 yeah, because that's just that thread. Maybe that's we're gonna have to look into that. I don't remember how that works. Um, actually, let's run a bolt. That is, I think it's because of the sig int, yeah. Uh, I don't remember how to do this. Uh, yeah, this is the shutdown hook thing. Meaning my shutdown. Yeah, right. So, um, Oh, I don't remember this server side Java craziness. Let me just try this. This is kind of funky. Um, So this will actually get called. No, it won't because it's not prior to the thread that starts and blocks it. Um, oh, maybe it did. Stop. Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's do this. And now that'll do the trick. Okay, so that should shut down cleanly, I believe. Doesn't really matter anyways, once the JVM's gone, it'll stop it, but I like it to be, yeah, sock closing grace. Okay, 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 that's better. Um, um, and yeah, I know this isn't great either, but it does the trick. Okay. I think that's about all I wanted to get done tonight um well let's 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 do one more thing actually so let's um no no let's not do that what i was going to do is basically write to the uh write to the socket um well yeah let's let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and do that okay so um Basically, um, we um, can write pretty much whatever we want, right? So client socket, uh, write byte buffer, right? So um, uh, yeah, I mean, we can literally write whatever we want, right? So uh, byte buffer dot wrap. Um, and this will be kind of stupid, but 
Uh, we can do this to light array, right? That one's a light array. Yeah. Um, and we can give it UTF-8. Okay, so if we do this, we should see, um, we should see that, I think. Um, nope. Uh, why not? Oh, you know what? Curl might be complaining about that um, because we haven't closed it. So what if we close it right afterwards? Does that work? This may not work, right? We might have to... Uh, Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Um, yeah, curl might not be very good for this. We might need to spin up a client socket and connect and do that. So yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this. We're gonna leave it in here, but curl isn't gonna show it to us. We're gonna have to do this in the next stream, I think, um, because um, who knows uh, who knows what curl's doing. We're, we'll have to write the client end of this, um, which shouldn't be too bad. But 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 yeah. So that's. I kind of remember this, which is good. That's comforting. Um, but yeah, uh, that is a basic NIO server socket that can uh, accept connections. Um, and we'll probably write the, the reader, uh, the reader next. So 